Hey girl, it's Nessa and welcome back to my channel. So today is the day that I get rid of my mini twists. I have had them on for about three weeks now and my hair is screaming for help. They are starting to look very raggedy and my scalp is itching so bad. So I really need to get rid of them. So what I'm going to do today is show you the method that I use to get rid of those mini twists while I minimize the amount of breakage. But before we get into the good stuff, if you are new here, I appreciate you for clicking on this video. I hope you like what you see. We talk everything beauty here on this channel and my goal is to inspire you to be the best version of yourself that you can be inside and out. So if that interests you, subscribe and ring the bell next to it so you don't miss out on any future uploads. And that's pretty much it for now. So if you're ready, let's get started. So those mini twists actually gave me the break that I needed for my hair. I, like I said earlier, I've had them on for about three weeks and I am super glad that I decided to do it. My first option was to go the traditional route, at least for me, which would be getting some box braids, but I wasn't actually sure that I wanted to do this. And I had actually asked you guys a question about this, um, maybe about a month or two back on my Instagram. If you're not following me there, by the way, go ahead and follow me. I will have my handle for you on the screen. We do talk hair and different other things on my Instagram. But anyways, um, you know, everybody had different opinions and everything, but I am very glad that I decided to go with this option. So today's the day though. They have to go. What I'm doing is in this bottle right here, I have a mixture of water and also live-in conditioner because it helps with softening the hair. We all know that you don't wanna be working on your hair while it's dry. And most likely if you had mini twists on, they are dry unless you did moisturize them in the morning, but still have something to, have something to moisturize your hair, but also that has slip because it's going to be very useful to you. Okay, so I'm putting this section away and I'm going to start with this section of hair. And what I'm doing, I am going to spray that mixture on my hair. It's just helping me not to work on dry hair, which makes the hair a lot easier to handle, to work with. And this is one of the things that's going to help you minimize the amount of breakage and shedding that you should that you would be getting on your hair while you're taking down the twist and i'm going to break this section up some more and we'll start with this twist right here and what i am doing pretty much i'm holding it at the root and i am using my other hand and with this hand i am twisting this in the opposite direction that I actually twisted. And once I have that done, I can feel the hair separating already. So I stick my fingers in between and I continue with the separation. And once I have this section untwisted or taken down, however you wanna call it, I will go ahead and detangle it with my fingers. You wanna be very gentle with that. If you have any resistance, just run your fingers down the length of your hair. It should go away. And that's it for twist number one. If you guys watched my last video, I showed you how I moisturize my twist as well, just so that they don't remain dry. So, I don't know if you've seen it. If you haven't seen it, I will be sure to link it for you and also put it in the eye up here. And I will link every single video that is in the mini twist series for you guys. So I am pretty much repeating the same process with this twist right here. Again, if you get any resistance, just make sure you run your finger down the length of your hair. You should be able to see where and make sure you detangle that. And as well, if you feel like you need a little bit more moisture, just go ahead and spray more of your mixture on the hair. 
again you don't want to be working on dry hair so i just pretty much go and do the same thing all over i'm going to show you right here and this is kind of easy for me to do because when i was actually twisting my hair i did not borrow or i did my best not to borrow hair from the other section if when you're twisting you actually borrow hair it's going to be very hard for you to untwist and you may end up losing a lot more hair than you really need to so make sure you keep that in mind as well okay so that's one section done so far I'm going to finish this up and then I'll show you how I tuck it away but in the meantime I am going to tuck this away in the back of my hair so I can work with this last part right here all right see I have I already have this whole section done here um, it still feels a little dry so I am going to spray a little bit more of my living conditioner water mixture Now I'm making sure that I am detangling some more with my fingers. Notice so far I am not using any tools. I'm not saying that I want because I'm going to show you soon. But the first part is to just use your fingers and be gentle as you're actually doing this process. Making sure I am going to the roots of my hair. That's what was starting to get matted. It was starting to knot. And this is where I am going to grab my comb. This is a wide tooth comb and I am going to do a little bit more detangling. See, this is the amount of hair that I got out of that section right here. That's the amount of hair that I got out of this section right here. And I've actually already done the back. I will insert a clip for you as I was doing the back. But all together from the back in this section, this is the amount of shed hair that I have. And this is after three weeks. So, All right, so the last step for this section is to actually twist it up and get it out of the way as I continue untwisting the other sections is that is that even a word on twisting is it <laughs> so i am all done with untwisting my hair and this is the amount of shed hair that i have from a three week old minute twist this is not a whole lot okay i'm sure when i do wash my hair and detangle some more i will have more from the actual detangling but considering that I have had this on for about three weeks and this is what I have from shed hair no breakage I think this is pretty good so if you do plan on doing the mini twist I hope this video was useful to you just make sure you take your time like I mentioned before use a living conditioner that has a lot of slip in it and just be patient and you know just put that time aside for you to do it do not be rushing I am going to wash my hair. You guys have already seen me do that many, many, many times on the channel already. So I don't really feel necessary to include it in this video. If you haven't seen that yet, I will place a playlist for you of all my different wash days in the description box. So go ahead and check it out after you're done watching this video. If you have any questions, comments, any video suggestions, go ahead and leave them for me in the comment section. Or even if you wanna say hi, I love to hear from you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun filming it for you just like the other ones. And any video that's related to today's video, any video related to the minute twist, I will be sure to play some for you on the screen. So go ahead and check those out. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. We are trying to grow the channel to 8,000 subscribers and I need your help for that. So if you enjoyed today's video, hopefully you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below and also ring the bell next to it so you can be notified of every single upload. Thank you so very much for hanging out with me today. I will catch you in the next one.